Hey math besties, let's learn how to multiply two digits by one digit using the standard algorithm. So, what is the standard algorithm for multiplication? The standard algorithm is a process where we line up the numbers using their place value and then multiply the place value separately. Why on earth do we use the standard algorithm? It makes multiplying much easier, especially when it comes to bigger numbers. Imagine we're multiplying 63 times 9. I could draw 63 groups. But after I'm done drawing 63 groups, and if my hat hasn't fallen off by then, I still need to draw 9 objects in each of the 63 groups. Ah! That's way too much! So that's why they created the standard algorithm to make multiplying much quicker and easy peasy. Are you ready to try this new strategy out? Let's go! Okay, Bath Besties, we have our first example. We have 14 times 2, and we're going to multiply using the standard algorithm. As you can see, I already lined up my numbers using the place value. So we're going to go ahead and do step number one, multiply the ones place. So what I like to do here is I like to draw a little butterfly wing. Boop, so I can easily see the ones place. So four times two is eight. Good job. I'm going to write the eight in the ones place. Now it says step two, multiply with the tens place. So I'm going to draw my second butterfly wing here, and I'm going to multiply 1 times 2, which is 2. Good job! So my product, or my answer, is 28. Are you ready to do a second example? Let's go! So for this example, we have 21 times 5. All right, so I already lined up my numbers using the place value. Now step one is to multiply the ones place. I'm gonna draw my butterfly wing right here. So one times five is five, awesome job. And then I'm gonna do step number two, which is multiply with the tens place. So my second butterfly wing goes right here. Two times five is 10, awesome job. So our total, or our product, is 105. Okay, so we have 56 times 4. So I'm going to go ahead and do step number 1, which is to multiply with the 1's place. Butterfly wing, boop. 6 times 4 is 6, 12, 18, 24. That's right, 24. I'm going to write 24 to the side right here, 24. Label my place values, 1's. Tens. So the four goes down and lives in the ones place. And the two goes up and lives in the tens place. Don't forget to write the plus sign next to the tip. All right, step number two, multiply with the tens place. So second butterfly wing goes here. Boom. I'm going to do five times four, which is 20. Awesome job. I'm going to write 20 up here. So I don't forget to add the plus two. 20 plus two is 22. So our answer is 224. Now it's our turn to practice together. So grab a paper, a pencil, or a whiteboard and let's go! It is now bestie practice time. Feel free to pause the video and work ahead of me or just follow along for more guided practice. Go ahead and write 13 times 2 on your paper. Okay, so step number one is we're going to go ahead and start multiplying in the ones place. I'm going to draw a butterfly wing there. 3 times 2 is 6. Good job. All right, and I didn't need to regroup because it's just one digit. So I'm going to go ahead and do step number two. Multiply the tens place. I'm going to draw my second butterfly wing there. One times two is 
two. Awesome job. So my total or my product is 26. Okay, besties, let's go ahead and do problem number two. 23 times four. Step number one is circle the ones place. Three times four. And three times four is 12. I'm going to write it to the side because it's a two-digit number and I'm going to have to regroup. I'm going to label my place values on top. So the two is ones place and then the tens place. All right. I'm going to bring the two down to the ones place and the one ten is going to go live in the tens place. I'm going to write a plus one next to it so it can help me on step three. All right, now step number two, multiply the tens place. I'm going to draw my second butterfly wing there. So two times four is eight. Awesome job. I'm going to write the eight next to the plus one so I can do step number three, which is add if needed, which we did because we were grouped. So eight plus one is nine. So my total or my product is 92. All right, number three, we have 59 times seven. So step number one is to multiply the ones place. I'm drawing a little butterfly wing there. So nine times seven. Okay, Bessie, if you already know what nine times seven is, awesome, go ahead and write it to the side. But if you don't know, then go ahead and use whatever multiplication strategy you feel comfortable with, being equal groups, arrays, skip counting, number line. All right, so nine times seven is 63. I'm going to go ahead and label my place value. So ones and tens. So the three is going to live in the ones place. And the six is going to go up and live in the tens place. I'm going to write a plus in front of it so it can help me on in, late, in step number three. Then step number two is to multiply the tens place. So I drew my second butterfly wing there. Five times seven is 35. So now step three is add. 35 plus six is... 41. Awesome job, besties. Okay, we are number four. So we're going to do 67 times three. Step number one is to multiply the ones place. I drew a butterfly wing there. Seven times three is 21. Label my place values, ones and tens. I'm going to bring the one down to the ones place and the two up to the tens place. I'm going to write plus next to it to help me with step three. All right, step number two is to multiply the tens place. I drew my second butterfly wing there. Six times three is 18. I'm going to write that on top. And step number three, add. 18 plus two is 20. Awesome job. Our final answer is 201. Good job, besties. That's the end of our math lesson. Thank you so much, math bestie, for learning with me today. Make sure you keep on practicing to make math easy peasy.